All right. Hello, everyone. Last week, I made a video on, you know, taking a class to class pass, what it looked like when I got there. Uh, it was 40 seconds long. If you haven't uh, checked it out, I'd have been looking at it. I will uh, link it when I post this. Um, but this week, I thought I'd make a video that's geared to more of you that are in HR benefits, uh, showing you kind of what the class pass corporate program could look like at your company, and uh, even showing you kind of the tools, the dashboard that we provide you on the HR team, and the, uh, the app going through, you know, the booking process and what your employees could would be looking at and you know potentially inviting their colleagues and friends to take classes with them uh things like that so uh at the end of this there is a 30 minute yoga class which is free obviously i'm throwing it in this video so hopefully you guys can enjoy that and uh, let me know what you think afterwards but so getting into the class plus corporate program i'm sure you know wellness programs in general can help with health care costs you know employee mental health retention at your company uh, and several other benefits, but I'll kind of skipping over that part specifically on class pass. Um, we are a global company. We're in over 30 countries and there's over 30,000 studios on the platform. So for many of you that are, you know, might have just multiple offices, uh, this could be a great program because it can really allow you to have one wellness program for the company versus having a different one, maybe per city or state or even country. Uh, so it should make, you know, your guys' workload a lot lighter, which would be nice. And then uh, the other part of that is that we aren't just fitness. Uh, many of you might know us as just fitness, but we actually do have uh, thousands of you know wellness providers on the platform. So you can actually book massages, cryotherapy, uh, acupuncture, meditation, all that kind of stuff on the platform, which is great. And it gives your employees you know different ways to recharge and come back stronger to work. So uh, just another perk there. And um, yeah, that's kind of that. And I'll kind of get into the app now and then afterwards i'll get into the dashboard so let me open up my phone here i'll hit record perfect so let me open up the class pass app um once you get to the home screen you can see that it's book an outdoor class support women on businesses treat yourself uh, with acupuncture etc but i'm going to go ahead and hit the search button um if i go to that you can see fitness online wellness beauty you can filter based off of that so i'm going to go ahead and hit fitness it's going to pull my location. I'm in San Francisco. You can see there's, you know, several different studios in San Francisco. All those blue dots are a different studio. Um, but I can actually filter based off of outdoors, yoga, Pilates, cycling, bar, et cetera, gym time. Um, and then I can filter by day, et cetera. And then once I pick a studio that I want to go to, uh, in this example, I'm going to use Barry's, the Marina location. Um, and I'm going to go to the Tuesday class on the 9th. And I scroll down, I'm going to go to the 5.45 p.m. after after work, um, and then it shows me that they have temperature checks, social distancing measures, mask scoring policy, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and then all I have to do is hit reserve, and then confirm reservation, and that's it. It's as simple as that, and you check in when you get there. You can see it actually sends me an con email confirmation right away. And then I can actually, what I do like to do next is invite your friends on class pass. So this could be great, you know, colleagues adding each other um, to take classes together. So they could then send friend requests and then, you know, pick maybe, a, you know, a couple employees or colleagues that you'd want to take together to the class, hit send, and then that sends them an invitation and they can go ahead and book that class if they want to as well. And I can also add it to my calendar from here as well. So pretty simple. Um, and I'm, now I'm going to go ahead and kind of show you guys the dashboard. This is just a screenshot just for security purposes. Um, so you can actually see, you know, it'll show you the number of uh, employees that you have enrolled in the program. Uh, it'll show you kind of the total credits used, the total classes completed, total hours worked out. Uh, and then you can, we'll be able to scroll down and see other, you know, you know, general data on the program. And then you can see here on the right in the smaller laptop screen, you can actually click on the employees tab and it actually lists all of the employees out um, who are signed up in the program. And then if you need to, uh, you can invite more people or more employees into the program through this, or we can do that for you on our end. Or, um, and if you need to, you can actually re remove someone for the program if they uh, yeah, maybe leave the company for whatever reason, uh, you can do that through there as well. Um, so just very nice as far as, you know, tracking to make sure that this program is actually you know, doing well at the company. And uh, then we can obviously run different types of maybe um, incentives to help maybe boost engagement in the program. Uh, so that way more employees obviously sign up. And uh, yeah, that's kind of it. Very simple and easy to use. Um, if you guys have any questions, you can reach out. My email is neve patel or neve.patel, sorry, at classpass.com. Um, I'll write it out when I post this. And then uh, you can also reach out to me on LinkedIn. 
but uh, feel free, yeah, reach out to me. And then I hope you guys enjoy this uh, studio fitness class coming up uh, right after this. Hi, everybody. I'm Keela. Uh, welcome to this class. This is going to be a yoga burn. Uh, it's meant to be a little bit of longer hold, working with some muscle strength today. We're going to get into the side body quite a bit and get into some twists. Um, it should be about 30 minutes. If you have a heart rate monitor and you want to put that on now, then I'll be able to see you on our board. If you don't, don't worry about it. Today, I'm here with Trisha and Mehdi. Trisha's going to show you some modifications. Uh, so if you're not feeling super amped up today, and if you want to pump things up a little bit, Mehdi is your guy. So we're going to get started started in a tabletop position. So I want you to come onto your mat, face the front of your mat, bring your hands down and just put your knees down and your knees are gonna be stacking right underneath your hips and your hands are gonna be stacking right underneath your shoulders. So make sure you have that nice sort of alignment going. There's two 90 degree angles. Let's just drop the belly down, lift the gaze, take an inhale. So you're coming into a cow spine looking up and when you exhale, Really press the floor away, press the back body up towards the sky and gaze toward the navel. Good, inhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze, look up, really slow movement today. And when you exhale, round, 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 press the floor away and then keep going. Three more, in and out. You might just close your eyes here. Inhale. And exhale. Last one, take the breath in. And then breath out. Good, stay rounded this time. Let's tuck our toes. We're just gonna hover the knees off the floor. So starting to fire up the core a little bit, draw your low belly in, really press your hands down the floor so you can feel a little stretch in between your shoulder blades. Good, it might take some little bounces here. So slowly lower the knees and then pick them back up for five, for four, for three. Stay with me for two and for one. Good, stay here, take a big breath in. And when you exhale, take your hips all the way up and back to downward facing dog. Pedal your feet here, bend into one knee, bend into the other knee. And then let's check our alignment. So peek up at your hands and make sure that your thumbs are shoulder width distance apart. Peek back at your feet and make sure your feet are hips width distance apart. And then let's check out our plank. So inhale, roll forward to plank and notice if you need to scoot your feet back a little bit, do that. And when you're ready to exhale, take it up and back to down dog. We'll do that two more times. Inhale, takes you to plank. Roll forward, shoulders over wrists, look forward. When you exhale, take it up and back, down dog. Do it again, inhale very slowly, roll forward. We're gonna pause and plank for three. Take a big breath in, out for two. Draw your low belly in, breathe in. When you exhale, listen, shift forward on the toes, lower all the way down to your belly. Untuck your toes when you get there, bring the tops of the feet on the mat. Inhale to a low cobra, elbows in, lift your chest. When you exhale, lower down. Two more times, lift, inhale. Lower and breathe out. One more time, inhale. And exhale, lower, so nice guys. On your inhale, press yourself to bent knees. And when you exhale, tuck your toes, take your hips all the way up and back, down dog. Good, let's do that one more time. Inhale takes you to plank. Arrive in plank on the breath out. Take a big breath in. When you exhale, shift forward, lower all the way down to your belly. Untuck your toes, inhale, one crowbar lift up. And when you exhale, lower down. On your inhale, come to bent knees. When you exhale, tuck your toes, take your hips all the way up and back, down dog. Let's take a big breath in through our nose, open your mouth. <sighs> Good, a little bit in your knees. We're gonna take a slow walk all the way to the top of the mat. When you get to the top, take your feet about hips width distance apart. It's two fists fitting snugly in between the arches of your feet. Bend your knees a whole bunch and just hang down over. Drop the head down. You might sway a little bit. You might let a big sigh <sighs> out of the mouth. Let it go. Rock the weight into the balls of the feet a little bit. And then rock the weight back into the heels. Maybe pick up the toes. Go back and forth a few times. Good. From here, let's heel toe our feet together. Bend your knees, tuck your chin to your chest, rounding the spine, you're rolling yourself all the way up to stand. When you get to the top, let's roll our shoulders all the way up and down your back. Turn your palms forward and just pause here in your mountain pose. Let your eyes come to close. Take a big breath in through your nose. Open your mouth, big sigh. Really nice, guys. All right, we'll start with our warm up. Bring your feet to touch if they're not already there. Inhale to chair pose. So bend your knees, lift your arms, rise up. Stay here for your breath out. On your inhale, come to stand. Grab onto your left wrist with your right hand and on your exhale, take a side bend over to the right. 
On your inhale, come to center, release your fingertips. When you exhale, sit down into chair. Beautiful, inhale, come back up. Grab onto your right wrist with your left hand. Take a side bend over to the left. Beautiful, inhale, come back up. When you exhale, sit down into chair. Take one breath in. When you exhale, fold into your legs and then straighten them out. Take a halfway lift, breathe in. Fold down and breathe out. Twice more, in. Breathe out, fold. One more time, breathe in, look forward. And exhale, fold. Really nice, guys. Plant your hands. Pick up your left leg, step it all the way back. Tack your back knee down, untuck your back toes. Sweep your arms up by your ears. Take a big breath in through your nose. Open your mouth, you can clear it out. <sighs> Stay here, close your mouth, breathe in. And breathe out. Take one more breath in, lift the chest higher. And breathe out, good. Float your hands down, we're gonna frame the front foot. Tuck your back toes, lift your back knee up. On an inhale, go to down dog split. Take your right leg all the way up and back. Bend your knee, open your hip, move around a little bit. Circle through the knee. Circle the ankle, big stretch. Good, last two. Beautiful. Start to straighten out through your right leg, square your hip, take a breath in. Knee to nose really strong. All the way up and back, breathe in. Knee to nose really strong, look forward, place your foot in between your thumbs. If you need to pick it up and move it up there, that is okay. Tense your fingertips, you might need to scoot your back foot in a little bit. Bend your front knee, look forward, breathe in. Exhale, straighten and fold. Two more times, re-bend, look forward. Exhale, straighten and fold. One more time, re-bend, look forward. And exhale, fold. Beautiful, guys. On your inhale, re-bend, look forward. Listen, when you exhale, step forward. Fold into your legs, feet together. Halfway lift, breathe in one time. Fold down and breathe out. Chair pose from the ground up. Inhale, bend your knees, lift your arms, rise up. Stay here for the breath out. When you inhale, come to stand, grab onto your left wrist, take a side bend to the right. Good, inhale back to center, slowly exhale, chair. Inhale back up, grab onto your right wrist, exhale, side bend over to the left. Good, inhale back up, exhale, sit into chair. One breath in chair, and when you exhale, fold into your legs. Halfway lift one time, breathe in, fold and breathe out. Plant your hands, pick up your right leg, slide it all the way back. Tap your back knee down, untuck your back toes. Inhale, reach your arms up. Open your mouth, clear it out. <sighs> then close your mouth, breathe in, lift your chest. Good, breathe out for two. Last one, lift up, breathe in. And out for three, good. Float your hands down, frame your front foot. Tuck your back toes, lift your back knee up. On an inhale, it's down dog split. The left leg goes all the way up and back. Bending your knee, open up your hip, move around. Circle out through the knee. So go out through the ankle, that would feel nice. Any movement here, or maybe just stay still and stretch. Good, straighten your left leg, square your hip, breathe in. Draw your knee to your nose and breathe out. Again, in and out. Look forward, place your foot in between your thumbs. Good, you might need to scoot your back foot in. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, straighten and fold. Two more times, in and out. One more time, rebend, look forward. And exhale, fold. On your inhale, rebend, look forward. On your exhale, step forward and fold into your legs. Halfway lift on your inhale. Fold down and breathe out. Chair pose once again. Bend your knees, let your arms rise up. When you exhale, just stand tall and bring your arms alongside your body. Pause here, take one breath in. Clear it out, let it go. Really nice, guys. Okay, we're going right back into chair. Inhale, bend your knees, lift your arms, rise up. We're here for five. So I want you to bring some weight into the heels a little bit. Good, bring your feet together and squeeze your knees together if that feels okay. And then maybe you lift your toes up a little bit. You guys look so good today. Last two breaths, sit a little lower. Good, let's take one more breath in. When you exhale, fold into your legs. Take a halfway lift on your inhale. Fold and breathe out. This time, plant your hands. Let's step back to high plank. Good. We're gonna take a vinyasa here. So everyone's gonna take a different one. Take a breath in. On your exhale, you might lower all the way to your belly like Trisha. You might go halfway down like Medi into Chaturanga. Good. Up dog or your cobra, lift. When you exhale, make your way all the way up and back. Downward facing dog. Really nice, guys. Let's go through our flow. Take your right leg high, breathe in. Bend your knee, open your hip, and breathe out. Straighten your leg on the inhale. Draw your knee to your left elbow, keep your hips lifted, go slow. Inhale all the way back. Exhale knee over to the right. Inhale up and back. 
Exhale, knee to nose, step your foot in between your thumbs. Good. Tap your back knee down, untuck your back toes, sweep your arms up, take a breath in. Different this time. You're gonna hook your right elbow to your right hip and reach your left arm up and over, so you're in this little side bend over to the right for three. Squeeze your thighs together, really stamp down through the right foot for two. Last one, everyone breathe in. And out for one. Good, drag your left elbow outside your right knee. Bring your hands together. Good, and then start to draw your chest towards your thumbs. Beautiful. If it feels okay, you're looking up and over your right shoulder. Good, nice, Joni. Really press down into your right foot. Squeeze your thighs together. Let's take one more breath in and one more breath out. All right, a little bit of a tricky transition. Tuck your back toes. You're gonna straighten your back leg. You might need to scooch the back foot in a little bit. If you need to bring your fingertips down and then find this form again, that is okay. Good, stay here for three. Good, bring your chest off of your thighs a little bit. That's it, Allie, really nice for two. Last one. Good, listen, we're gonna go to a T-twist. So bring your right hand back, take your left hand forward. Squeeze your thighs together. Really spread your fingers wide, bend into your front knee. Last two, breathe in. Breathe out, maybe look towards your right thumb. Take one more breath in. Take one more breath out. On your inhale, go to high lunge. When you exhale, listen, we're gonna spin around and take warrior two to the back of your mat. Good. When you get there, stack your knee right on top of your right ankle. Good, take an inhale, straighten your front knee, reach your arms up and look up. When you exhale, re-bend and look forward. Stay here for three. Sit a little lower, deepen the breath for two. Last one, breathe in. And out for one. Bring your left forearm onto your left thigh. Take your right arm over your ear and get really, really long down the right side body. Good. Think about one long line from your right fingertips to the outer edge of your right foot. Last two. Good. Really nice, guys. Last one. Listen, we're gonna take this to triangle. So all I want you to do is take your left fingertips to your left shin and straighten your front leg and then reach your right hand back up into the air. Yes, that's it. We're gonna stay here for five breaths. Really find your alignment. Roll your right hip up and back for two. Lean back a little bit for three. Big breath in, stay with me for four. Last one, breathe in. And out for five, so nice guys. On your inhale, come to stand, bring your arms all the way up over your head. Good, bring your heels in, bring your toes out, sit into a goddess squat, cactus your arms. Look at your alignment, make sure the knees and the toes and the ankles are going the same direction. And then we move, inhale slowly, straighten and reach up. Exhale, sit low. Good, again, inhale slowly. Exhale, sit low. Again, inhale. And exhale. Again, in. Really nice, guys. And out. This is the last one. On your inhale, reach everything up. When you exhale, take warrior two to the top of your mat once again. Beautiful. Reverse your triangle. So take an inhale, straighten your front leg, reach up and back, big breath in. When you exhale, bring your hands down and frame your front foot, bring your back heel up. We're gonna take a side plank. Option one, come into the outer edge of your back foot. Walk your right foot halfway down. Peel your right hand up. Trisha will show you that. Option two is stack your right foot on top of your left. Flex your feet, roll your right hip up. Good, last two, breathe in. Good, breathe out. Lift a little higher, take one more breath in. And out. Plank on your inhale. You'll go through your own vinyasa. So you either lower all the way down or you go halfway to chaturanga. Take up dog on your inhale or your cobra. Take down dog on your exhale. Stay here, take a big breath in. Open your mouth. Slow the breath down. Last two. Good, last one. All right, we're gonna go into the other side. The left leg will lift on your inhale. Bend your knee, open your hip on the breath out. Get, straighten your leg and breathe in. Draw your knee to your right elbow. Keep the hips lifted. On your inhale, go up and back. On your exhale, go over to the left elbow. Good. Inhale, up and back. On your exhale, draw your knee to your nose and place your foot in between your thumbs. Tap your back knee down, untuck your back toes. Inhale, your arms up. When you exhale, left elbow to left hip, right arm up and over for three. Good. Draw your low belly and squeeze your thighs together for two. Last one, breathe in, and out for one. 
Good, the right elbow goes outside of your left knee. Then you bring your hands together and spin your chest towards your thumbs. Three breaths. Really press your elbow into your knee and your knee back into your elbow. Look up and over your left shoulder. Good, last breath in. And last breath out. We're gonna tuck the back toes and straighten through the back leg. Again, if you need to give yourself a little support here, bring your hands down and refine your twist, that is okay. Good, really straighten through that back leg. Look up and over your left shoulder. Last two. Good. Last one, really nice, guys. We're taking it to a T-twist, so the left hand goes back and the right hand reaches forward. We're just here for three. Really strong for two. Last one, breathe in. And for one, gorgeous. Inhale to high lunge, sweep your left arm up. When you exhale, spin around, take warrior two to the back of your mat. Good. Take an inhale, straighten your front knee, reach your arms up and look up. When you exhale, re-bend warrior two, look forward and stay here. Sit your hips low, bend your front knee right on top of your ankle. Last two. Good, sit a little lower, last one. Bring your right forearm onto your right thigh. Take your left arm over your ear. You're getting really long down the left side body. So reach fingertips, press to the outer edge of your back foot. Last two. Beautiful, last one. We'll take it to triangle from the ground up, fingertips to shin, just straighten your front leg and then reach up, 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 up with your left fingertips. Good, we're gonna stay here for five. So really find your alignment, press into your feet, reach up with those left fingertips for two. Breathing in. Good, for three. Big breath in. For four. Last one. Good, on your inhale, come all the way up. Bring your arms up over your head. Bring your heels in, bring your toes out. When you exhale, sit right back into that goddess. Good, make sure your knees and your ankles and your toes are going the same direction. And this time we're gonna pulse really slowly down and up for five. For four. For three. For two. Beautiful. And for one. On your inhale, reach up, straighten your legs and your arms. When you exhale, warrior two to the top of your mat. Reverse your triangle on the inhale, straighten your front leg, reach up and back. And when you exhale, start to bring your hands down and frame your front foot. Bring the back heel up. Setting up for that side plank once again, come on the outer edge of your back foot. You might walk your left foot halfway down, peel it up, your hand or might stack your feet. Flex your feet and start to roll your top hip forward for two. One more breath in. And for three. Plank pose is your inhale. When you exhale, go through your vinyasa, either chaturanga or all the way to your belly. Good. Upward facing dog or your cobra. That's your breath in. When you're ready to exhale, go up and back. Down dog. Good, let's take a big breath in. Open your mouth. Good, take a little breather here. Shake your head out a little bit. Move around. All right, we're gonna add on. Take your right leg high, breathe in. Bend your knee, open your hip and breathe out. Straighten your leg on the inhale. Draw your knee to your left elbow. This time extend the leg underneath. Ground the back heel. Peel your left hand to the sky for fallen triangle. We're here for one big breath in and one big breath out. Good, bring your left hand down. Go all the way up and back to a down dog split, right leg high. Slowly exhale over to the right elbow. Good, up and back, breathe in. Draw your knee to your nose, look forward, place your foot in between your thumbs. Tap your back knee down and tuck your back toes. Inhale, reach your arms up. When you exhale, again, side bend. So hook your right elbow to your right hip, reach up and over with the left arm. Get on your inhale, drag your left elbow outside your right knee. When you exhale, bring your hands together and spin your chest towards your thumbs. Get same thing, tuck your back toes. You're gonna straighten through the back leg. You might need to scoot that back leg in a little bit, that's okay. Different this time. Press your elbow into your knee, your knee into your elbow. Look forward of your right foot. Step your feet together. Stay in twisted chair. Sit your butt down a little low, but reach your chest up. We're here for three. So nice, guys. Look up and over your right shoulder. Good, for two. Stay with me. You're doing such a great job, Taylor. One more breath in and one more breath out. All right, here we go. On your inhale, come to stand. You're gonna bring your right knee into your chest. Good, reach your arms up. Take your hand and place your foot for tree. Beautiful. We're gonna play with the balance today. So press your foot into your thigh and your thigh back into your foot. And then you might take your right arm to your right thigh and reach up and over with your left hand. So you're taking a little side bend to the right. Good, last two breaths. Stay with me. 
Good, last one. You might be a little weebly wobbly, that's okay. Good, on your inhale, come back up. Bring your knee in, take your left hand to the outside of your right knee and reach your right hand back. Press your hand into your knee and your knee back into your hand and reach back with your right fingertips. Good, stay here, really nice guys. Maybe take your gaze towards your right thumb. Last two breaths, in. Good, breathe out. Last one. On your inhale, come up, bring your knee into your chest. We're going all the way into warrior three. Kick your leg back, reach your fingertips forward. You might bend your standing leg. Left hand is gonna go down. Open up your hip, take your right hand high. You're in half moon pose. Good. If you can't reach the floor, then just bend your knee a little bit. We're only gonna be here for three more breaths. Really reach up with your fingertips. Last two. Really nice, guys, last one. Good, we're gonna go to warrior two very slowly. Just tap your back leg back gently. Warrior two. So nice, guys. Take an inhale, straighten your front knee, reach your arms up, look up. Exhale, warrior two to the back of your mat. Reverse your warrior this time, take a breath in. When you exhale, we're going right into extended side angle. This time you might take your forearm into your thigh and reach your arm over. You might snake your hand inside your foot this time, reach over or take a half bind. If a full bind is part of your practice, that's okay too. Good, and breathe. Good, really, really nice, guys. If you have the bind, you're leaving your chest back a little bit. Good, lean back and look maybe up. Yes, bending in your front knee a little bit more. Last two. Good, last one. If you have the bind, very gently release it. Fingertips inside your back foot. Just turn all 10 toes to the side. Parallel your feet and fold gently into your legs. Let's take a big breath in. Open your mouth. Shake it out a little bit. Really nice, guys. Bring a little weight into the balls of your feet. All right, on your inhale, find a halfway lift. On your exhale, crawl around, frame your left foot, low lunge. Here we go. Left leg high, breathe in. Bend your knee, open your hip and breathe out. Straighten your leg on the inhale. Draw your knee to your right elbow, then extend the leg, ground the back heel, peel your right hand to the sky. Reach up, 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 up. Big breath in. And a big breath out. Right hand down. Good, inhale, down dog split, left leg high. When you exhale, take it over to the left. Keep your hips lifted. All the way up and back, breathe in. Draw your knee to your nose and place your foot in between your thumbs. Tap your back knee down, untuck your back toes, sweep your arms up, breathe in. When you exhale, side bend to the left. So nice. On your inhale, take your right elbow outside your left knee. Exhale, find the twist, hands together. Inhale, tuck your back toes. Exhale, straighten your back leg. Beautiful. Look forward of your left foot. You might need to scoot your back foot in a little bit. Take a breath in. On your exhale, lightly step your feet together and find your twisted chair. Beautiful, lift your hips a little bit, lift your chest higher. Good, last two. Beautiful, last one. All right, on your inhale, come to stand, bring your arms up over your head, bring your left knee in with you all the way up. Here we go, arms up. Find your balance, place your foot for a tree. Good, really press your foot into your thigh and your thigh back into your foot, reach your arms up, take the breath in. You might side bend over to the left, bring your hand onto your thigh reaching your right arm up and over. Good, steady with the breath. Last two. Good, reach a little bit more over, last one. Good, on your inhale, bring your knee back into your chest. Take your right hand outside of your left knee. Reach your left hand back. So now you're in that standing T-twist. Flex your foot, maybe look towards your left thumb. Last two. Good, and last one. On your inhale, come back up, knee to send. Good, on your exhale, go all the way through. Warrior three, slow, 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 slow. Right hand goes down, left hand goes high. Take half moon pose. Really nice work today, guys. We're here for four more breaths. In, reach up higher, breathe out. Last three, breathe in. Breathe out, really flex your lifted foot. Last two, good, and last one. Warrior two is where we land very slowly. Step it all the way back. Beautiful, take an inhale, straighten everything, reach up. Exhale, warrior two to the back of your mat. Reverse your warrior inhale. When you exhale, go right into your extended side angle. So you might bring your forearm onto your thigh, just like we started. You might take your right arm over your ear. You could bring your hand inside your foot. 
you could take a half or full bind, but really find your alignment. So if you're really rolling your top hip down, then come out a little bit. Form to thigh is absolutely fine. Really stay here, breathe, last three. Good, last two. Sit a little deeper in your hips. And last one. Release whatever bind you have. The hands can come down inside your back foot. Turn all 10 toes to the side of your mat. Fold into your legs, take a big breath in, open your mouth. Good. Take a halfway lift on your inhale. On your exhale, low lunge, top of mat. Here we go, right leg high, big breath in, slowing down, bend your knee. Open up your hip, just take a big stretch here. Start to straighten through that leg, square your hip, breathe in, half pigeon. Draw your right knee to your right wrist. Tap your back knee down. Good. So these guys are gonna show you the forward fold pigeon. So you might stay here, you might forward fold over if that feels okay. I'm gonna show you a modification on your back so you guys can fold forward. If you're not feeling this, if it doesn't feel good on the knee, you might come all the way to lie down on your back. Cross your right ankle above your left thigh. You might just stay here. You can play with your hand and pushing it away. Good, you might draw your left thigh towards you and you can take your hands through this little negative space and pull the leg. Good, see if you can keep your shoulders on the floor. You might just close your eyes. Good, take a big breath in. Take a big breath out. Really nice work today, guys. We're slowing down, breathe in. And breathe out. Good, let's take three more deep breaths. Good. Last one. Good. If you're lying down your back, you'll slowly start to come up. If you're forward fold, just like lift yourself up. Good, and then you're just gonna give some of the weight over into the right hip, so you'll turn yourself towards the side. So turn towards me, you're gonna keep your right leg bent. You got it. And then bring your left arm onto your left thigh and reach up and over. So we're taking a side stretch. So it's not a forward fold over the leg, you're taking a little side bend over. Good, really feeling that stretch down the right side body. Stay here, breathe in. Stay here, breathe out. Good, big breath in. And out. Last three, you might just close your eyes. Feel that big, long stretch. Last two. Good, last one. Beautiful, use your right hand to pull you up. You're gonna go right into a little stargazer pose. So you're gonna take your right hand behind you, lift your hips and lift your left arm up and over your ear. Let's take a big breath in, open your mouth, big sigh. Ah. Good, start to turn yourself to the front of the mat. Place your hands down. You might step to plank if you wanna go through one more vinyasa or just take your hips up and back. We're gonna meet in downward facing dog. Good. When you get to dog, reach your left leg high, breathe in. Bend your knee, open your hip and breathe out. Straighten your leg on your inhale. Draw your shin for half pigeon. Good. Again, you might take the forward fold here. Just make sure you have your alignment right. So Marlo, you wanna look that your hips are facing towards the front of your mat. Good, and if this doesn't feel good on your knee, same thing, you're gonna come onto your back. These guys are gonna forward fold. I'm gonna come onto my back. The right foot stays planted and the left leg can cross over. If you're feeling the stretch here, you can stay here. If you want more, you draw your right leg towards you, but then bring your shoulders back down onto the floor. You can straighten this leg or bend the knee. It doesn't really matter. But let's breathe. Five more. Good, last four. Last three. Really nice, last two. And last one. Beautiful. If you're on the floor, you'll start to make your way up. Good, if you're in that forward fold, you guys are just gonna lift yourself up and then you're just gonna shift the weight into the left hip, turn yourself to this side of your mat, good. So the right leg is extended and the left knee is bent. Same thing, you're gonna bring your forearm onto your thigh and we'll reach up and over. Again, we're not taking a forward fold, we're really trying to find a stretch down the side body. And you might not be going very far here and that is okay. Just feel the stretch and breathe in and breathe out. 
big breath in. And out. Let's take three more together. Maybe close your eyes. Inhale. Out for three. Big breath in. Out for four. Last one. Good. On your inhale, come up. We'll go right into that little back bend. So the left hand goes back behind you. Reach your hips up. Reach your right arm up and over. Take a big breath in through your nose. Open your mouth. Last time. Let it out. So nice. Good. Lower down slowly. Good. Spin yourself to the front of your mat. Good. Place your feet down and then just lower yourself slowly onto the floor. When you get onto the floor right away, we're gonna hug the knees into the chest and then just rock a little side to side. Good. And take your arms out into a wide T shape and then scoot your hips over to the right and let your knees fall over to the left. Just a really simple twist. We've done so many twists today. Let this one be really soft. If it feels okay in your neck, your gaze can fall over to your right thumb. We're just here for two more breaths. Good, breathe in. Breathe out. Big breath in. And out. Good. Come through center. And then let your knees fall over to the other side. If it feels okay on the neck, you can look over toward your left thumb. Three deep breaths in. And out. Breathe in. And out. Last one. Good. Come back to center. Gentle hug of the knees into your chest. Rock a little side to side. We're gonna get set up for our final resting posture. So squeeze your knees in one more time and then start to extend one leg really long on the mat and then the other really long on the mat and then bring your arms alongside your body with your palms to face up. Pressing into the back of your head, bring your shoulder blades a little closer together underneath you. Yeah, really shake it out. Move around a little bit, fidget as you need to. Good. Let your eyes come to close. Good. And then working from the top of the head all the way to the feet, just let everything become really heavy. So the head is heavy and the shoulders are soft, the hips are soft, the feet can just flop open, eyes come to close if they haven't already. Let's take one last really big breath in together. Open your mouth. I really want to encourage you to stay in your Shavasana for as long as your time allows today. And I wanna to thank you so much for letting me guide you through your practice this morning. Namaste.